It's day 195 and it's time to meet another one of my friends. So without further ado, please welcome to the screen performer and theatre maker. It is Christopher Green. Hello. Hi, Anne. You're just, you make me feel really calm, Christopher Green. Do I? Yeah. I, I, can I go on a Buddhist meditation with you and do yoga <laughs> and shit? Well, yes, I am a Buddhist and I'm a trained hypnotherapist. Maybe that's possibly what, I'm, what it's all about. Uh, well, the last time I saw you live on stage, you definitely hypnotised myself and my husband. We saw you at Wilton's Music Hall last year or the year before with your show. It's a fantastic piece of theatre. I loved it. It's really nice to see you. Listen, I've got three questions for you. Are you ready for your first part? Yes, please. Christopher Green, what is your recollection of our first meeting? It's absolutely, I can't remember. Um, I could lie, um, but let's, you know, let's be truthful, um, you know, we're in a new world order and um, if the, we must lead by example and tell the truth. Um, there it's some... really funny, I've got to tell you before you, before you t give, me, give me what you want to give me. Um, <laughs> if you, if I, I mean this is for the viewers too, if you watch back on a couple of previous ones, just watch my face when people answer that question because you can just see if you can spot the ones that are making shit up that <laughs> never happened. Or, or I suppose what I should say is remember it differently to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, put it this way. I mean, the, the Gospels, they, were, they couldn't decide and they, they were talking about Jesus. Um, so... Um, <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's actually a lot from that play that you saw. Um, but it's true, isn't it? They couldn't decide amongst themselves what happened. And that was the son of God. So there's no hope. No, absolutely. So new world order, starting as we mean to go So we on. need we to can't remember. be truthful. And um, I don't know. There's just some, you know, we've just, just been around, haven't we? We just sort of know each other, know of each other, done gigs, all that kind of thing. So, yeah, yeah I can't really remember. But there's quite a lot of things I can't really remember. So it's this strange world of corridors and dressing rooms and half meetings and uh, and I think that person lives sort of in my world as a Venn diagram. Isn't it? Yes, exactly. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of that goes on. Yeah, yeah. So let's move on to your second question then, uh, Christopher Green. What are you doing to keep creative at the moment? Um, I um, I had the virus, so I was ill and. Okay. I was I was really um, ill for quite a long time and I was tired for a long time after I physically got better and um, I think it really made um, made me just sit back and just look at you know my normal patterns and the patterns that we all have and um, so I feel I do feel really creative and I'm writing a lot and the thing that I've really changed is that I'm much less as we'd say in arts funding outcome focused um, and I'm basically just like I'm, so I've been sort of writing half a song or I've been writing a bit of dialogue but not knowing what it's for, or having an idea and not finishing it. And that feels really creative instead of like saying, I've got a song so I must finish it and I must post it or I must put it in this thing or I must write this proposal and make it happen. And and that feels really creative. So, I, yeah, I think um, I'm feeling very, very good about that at the moment. Brilliant. And there's such... I mean, I know there's a crossover and I, I live it. I don't I, I wonder how much you do. There's a difference, isn't there, between uh, creating and creating content and sort of when to share and what to show that those lines are becoming so blurred for me right now. I'm really interested in that at the moment. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I think I think there's just that thing of the minute um, it, it, it can be so important to push yourself or to, you know, that's why it's so good to have somebody else giving you a deadline or commissioning you or something like that. Yeah. Those things are really, really valid. But I think there's also a real pleasure in just sort of tantalizingly playing with something and then just going, I'm gonna leave that and maybe in six months I'll finish it and and maybe I won't. And it feels it feels properly creative. And it's a huge luxury as well. Are you ready for your third question? Hit me with that one, please. <laughs> what are you looking forward to doing that you can't do at the moment? Well, I don't want to sound overly spiritual and zen and calm. Uh, <laughs> oh, please do. I love that. <laughs> well, right. I mean, right now, this day of this week, kind of nothing. I mean, there's so many things that 
I'm loving about this time. And then there are so many things that I would love to do again, but not right now. So, you know, right now I'm looking forward to this afternoon and, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm, t I'm, I'm working with this, this um, kids group between then they're eight and nine years old and we do it on Zoom and it's not something I've ever really done before. And honestly, that 45 minutes I spend with them, my mind goes, expands in ways that I would don't normally experience so I don't know so that and that's lucky because that's in half an hour so you know, <laughs> <laughs> of course there's lots of things you know I'd love to be with lots of people and be surrounded by excitement and see lots of friends and all that kind of stuff yes but but right now you know I'm quite content <laughs> well I should let you get ready for your um zoom call with these fabulous inspirational kids then. No, <laughs> exactly. yeah, they're so they just yeah I love the narratives and they just change the world by t t changing the story so there's a lesson for all of us listen guys we're running out of time uh, don't forget to press the subscribe button now unfortunately Christopher won't be with me tomorrow but I will see you tomorrow yeah if we're saved oh well done well done you got it right excellent stuff thanks Christopher Green you tremendous man lovely to see you bye bye <laughs>